Southampton wound grading system. So here, the grades are from 0 to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So let's take a look at the first one that is 0. Grade 0 is normal healing in appearance. And grade 5 is deep or severe wound infection with or without tissue breakdown or hematoma that requires aspiration. So now we are left with 1, 2, 3, and 4. So 1 is normal healing but with mild bruising or erythema. So this one is divided into A, B, and C. A means that there is some bruising. B means there is considerable bruising and C is when there is erythema so it is mild erythema 2 is when there is erythema plus other signs of inflammation so this is divided into A, B, C and D so 2A is when this thing is at one point 2B is when it is around the sutures. To C is when it is along the wound. To D is when it is around the wound. Now, erythema plus other signs of inflammation. Next to that is having clear or hemo serious discharge, but not pus as such, because point number four will be pus. So three is again divided into A, B, C, and D. A is when there is clear or hemosphere's discharge at one point only. What do we mean by one point? It means it's less than or equal to two centimeters. Along the wound is B. This is when it is more than two centimeters. C is when there is a large volume discharge. And if the discharge is prolonged, it is when it occurs for more than three days, it is three three D. Now pus, when the pus is at one point only, that is 4A, and when it is along the wound, it is 4B. Now remember that these two points, 4 and 5, are considered as major complication of wound healing. So in Southampton wound grading system, 4 and 5 are considered as major complication. Let's, let's revise the Southampton wound grading system again. 0 is normal healing. 1 is when there is normal healing with mild bruising or erythema. 2 is when there is erythema plus other signs of infection. 3 is when there is clear or hemoceres discharge. 4 is pus. And 5 means there is deep, severe wound infection with or without tissue breakdown or if there is a hematoma which requires aspiration. Now 1, 2, 3 and 4 are divided into subtypes. 1A is some bruising, 1B is considerable bruising and 1C is with mild erythema. 2A is when there is erythema plus other signs of inflammation at one point, 2B is around sutures, 2C is along the wound, 2D is around the wound. 3A and 3B is similar to 4A and 4B. So 4, you don't really need to memorize it separately. You can just copy it from the 3A and 3B. So 3A is at one point only. 3B is along the wound. 3C is when it is of large volume, clear or hemocytes discharge. And D is when there is prolonged, clear or hemocytes discharge that is for more than three days. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel.